That was the message of a recent high-profile television documentary. And as evidence, they showed how solar activity and temperature seem to match up. Solar activity, they found, rose sharply to around 1940, fell back until the 1970s, and then started to rise again. Well, you have to say, it's a pretty convincing connection. But there is one wee problem. The graph ends in 1980. Now, when the documentary was made a couple of years ago, they had data from the 1980s and the 1990s, but they didn't show it. If we extend the graph to show that data, what you see is that the blue temperature curve should rise up. Look at there it goes. It just soars off the graph, and the red solar activity just levels off. In fact, since the 1990s, solar activity looks as if it's been on the decline, which should mean the planet has been getting cooler. Instead, we've reached record temperatures. So it's hard to escape the thought that although the sun may have played a significant role in the past, it just can't explain the present warming. The only convincing explanation is that it's down to us, human activity. There are only a tiny number of scientists who still question a human influence on climate. And yet, climate scepticism hasn't gone away. You'll still see websites claiming that the Earth isn't warming up, that it's all down to the urban heat island. But that's not true. You'll still hear claims that there's proof that the Earth was hotter during the medieval warm period. But that's not true. And you'll still hear people claiming that the sun somehow disproves global warming. But that's not true either. So why is this stuff still around? The problem is, there are a lot of people who don't want global warming to be true.